<sighs> yep. That's what I was saying. You know, uh, it, it, college football is just, man, it, it's just crazy right now. It's a lot right now. Usually, you know, usually, it's like, it's so predictable, basically. I ain't gonna say, like, automatically predictable, but, you know, it's like, you know, you, you basically have your teams already. Like, it's like, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? You know, Alabama Clemson and Ohio State. Those are your three teams. Then it'll be like, you know, the other team be like, okay, probably Notre Dame slash Oklahoma slash Georgia put for a spot. This year is like, it's wild. Like, I mean, honestly, I mean, the only team that really got to, I ain't going to say lot because Georgia got to get past Tennessee. I mean, I ain't going to say. I mean, let me rephrase that. Georgia just got to, you know, come to play versus at Tennessee. You know, like I say, with Adam Anderson out. I mean, Georgia, like I say, that Missouri game, I knew Georgia was going to come out slow. I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, with your defensive leader, you know, not out there. And, and you know, with him, might get him, you know, might not be able to play football again, possibly, if he get, you know, proven guilty. And, you know, it's kind of hard to go out there and play. But they're going to be ready to play versus Tennessee. You know, they're going to be they're gonna be fired or they're going to be ready to play. I mean, they – Especially at Tennessee, you know, with a legit crowd, gonna be like 106,000 people there. I mean, I wish the game was at nighttime. You know, I wish I had, cause I, thing is, I mean, I don't even care no more. Cause at first, I was finna go to the, you know, I was gonna try to go to Miami at FSU game. Like I said, I'm on a 35 mile from Tallahassee, you know, South Georgia 229, feel me? Uh, but it's like, They, I'm just gonna say it. They, for for them sorry teams, they they too expensive. You feel me? I mean, ticket prices is like okay. I mean, reasonable. I mean, sixty five dollars. You no, know, I could have got a ticket for like sixty five dollars, two tickets, sixty five dollars. But it's like it's not bad. You no, know? I mean, if you got a dude and dude, you know, or something, you know, paying separately. I mean, but it's like man, you want to take a girl on? You know, take a girl or something. Oh, it's like sixty five dollars, okay. So that's a hundred, hundred some dollars, hundred ten dollars, whatever, hundred twenty. Then they had the parking. The cheapest parking was a hundred dollars. Florida State don't deserve no hundred dollars parking. Like it's Florida State versus. I know it's a big game, in-state game, a big in-state game. You no know, Florida State versus Miami. You know that's just see there you go. That's that's a big in-state game. You know. This is, this is all tool, you know. It's, it's like at Michigan and Ohio State. Like even though Michigan be so good, Ohio State, you know, don't be as good. Like Michigan, Ohio State, or, or, or Oklahoma and Texas, you know. You and this is how it is. To South people, you know, in Florida, that's how it is. People in Florida. So it's like I, would, I could, I still can go. We just like man, I ain't gonna pay no. No, no, two, over two hundred dollars. No, for them, gar- <laughs> them garbage teams like that, man. I might well just save it up and, and go to a Falcon game. You know, I'm like, you know, two hundred and fifty miles from Atlanta. You know, I might well play, a, go to a team. I, you know, if you see famous people, I actually see the team I root for. You know, the Falcon. So it's like, man, they tripping. Hundred dollars cheapest ticket for a parking? I was just parking at Burger King or something, just walk three miles through the stadium. Ah, oh, but they taxing them. They ain't like I say, Florida State ain't even good. Like, I know it's an in state round game, but come on, man. Like, they, like, like, you see the North Carolina State game, it was a lot of empty seats there. I mean, maybe different, like I say, it's because of Miami and FSU, so it's, you know, it, it holds more weight. But that North Carolina State game, it was a lot of empty stadium. So, why y'all got these? They ain't so expensive, like Florida State just popping. Like y'all like Florida State like rank 15th, or rank 10th, and, and, and all that. Then I can see, like yes, the, the ticket prices and stadium parking and all that. But Florida State not hot. They won like what three games? They won three games. What? Two. Two. Three games I think. Either way, I don't care. They won. Yeah, they beat UMass. And um. Who else they be? They be on. 
Yeah, yeah. Three games, whatever. So it's like, they not popping like that. Feel me? So, I don't even care. Either way, like I was saying, playoffs. It's getting good, man. You like usually you have the, the two or three teams you already know that's basically gonna be in like Alabama, Clemson, you know Ohio State, yeah, and, and you know you got uh, Oklahoma slash Georgia slash um, Notre Dame, Notre Dame. Shame. Feel me? This is just how it is. But now it's like you got there's so many scenarios. Cause let's say, let's say like I say Georgia, you know they beat Tennessee. Yeah, you know, they, they undefeated, beat Georgia Tech, you know, Charleston Southern and all that. And then they, they undefeated going to, into the uh, SEC Championship. Let's say they lose to the Belmont, they still going to be in. I mean, they lose to the Belmont, you know they could be 100-0. They still going to be in the playoffs. So, it's just all to it. So, then if you got that, let's say you got Georgia drop down to three and, and Belmont goes up to one, you know. So, it's like, man. Georgia and Belmont, <laughs> they, they got Oregon and Ohio State. If they win out, you know, they going to be in. So, but then there's no Cincinnati, no no, no um, Oklahoma. You feel me? So, it's like, man, even though Oklahoma go undefeated, they going to be left out of the playoffs because North Oregon and Oregon, Ohio State only know one out. So, right now, everybody basically is a Georgia. Well, everybody right now basically is an Auburn fan. You know, Tess and them especially. Well, Tess and them, the biggest Auburn fan it is right now. But the thing about Tess and them, they got to handle business versus the Ole Miss. I mean, if they lose the Ole Miss, it's a waste. You know, if they beat Ole Miss, and they right now they are, they are a big Auburn fan. You know, because if Belmont lose to Auburn, Texas and them is in the playoff. I mean, not playoff, oh, snap. It's in the SEC Championship. But if, if Belmont, I mean, if oh, Texas and them lose to Ole Miss and Belmont lose to Auburn, shoot, Belmont going to be in the SEC Championship. So it's like two lost Belmont versus a undefeated Georgia. Hey, it just hold less value. I mean, because Georgia beat them, like, oh, Belmont wasn't that good anyway. I mean, it was, yeah. I mean, <sighs> so I'm saying, okay, and, and Georgia going, like I say, Georgia going to basically be in. They beat Tennessee, you know, ain't nobody. I mean, they got, what, Charleston Southern and um, Georgia Tech enough? You know? I mean, come on, be for real. I mean, I don't, I don't see Georgia losing nothing. Uh, but yeah, so it's like, man, let's say Georgia, man, let's let's say, so right now, the main teams who who gotta do something, you know, Oklahoma with with Baylor losing the TCU, it hurt them, it hurt Oklahoma. So Oklahoma gotta come out swinging. Oklahoma, you know, they, they can't afford no loss. Honestly, because Cincinnati goes undefeated, and Oklahoma lose, they in. Cincinnati in. And like I said, right now, they need Oregon to lose, which is Oregon might lose, possibly. I mean, they, they the one I least trust. You know, I I feel like they're going to lose one. You know, they, they, might use, they might lose to Utah, honestly. But, so, if Oregon lose, then, you know, that, that helps out a lot of people. Oregon and Alabama lose, you know, that gets a lot of people out of the way, you know, and oh, freeze up the playoffs. I mean, and, and if Ohio State lose, <laughs> I don't know, which they could, I mean, like I say, Kenny Walker, he might have a, a first round pick day, like he might, he might plant his flag in a first round spot. You know, if he you plays Ohio State and have like 200 some rushing yards, because Ohio State can't stop the run, you know, they, they very good. No, I don't see Michigan. I don't see Michigan being Ohio State, but I mean, that Michigan State game could catch uh, Ohio State off guard. Could deal with it, but yeah. Uh, so 
it just, man, like, this is what I'm saying. Like, the playoffs need to be expanded, expanded to six times. I mean, it'll be tough. It'll be tough, though, no cap. Like I say, Georgia's the first spot. You know, they got Ohio State. Ohio State wins out. And then you got Oregon, third spot. So you got Georgia, and then Ohio State, Oregon in the rematch. Then you got Oklahoma slash Cincinnati. And you got both of them go undefeated. Cincinnati goes undefeated. And Oklahoma goes undefeated. And, they, and one of them get left out. That's tough. Or both of them, both of them get left out because Georgia lose to Bama, a one house Bama. Bama going, like I say, Bama going to be in. Then they're going to be Bama one, uh, Ohio State two, Georgia three. Then Bama versus Oregon. And, you know, so it's like, hey, it, it's, it's got to be a domino effect, honestly. Like, it, it got to, know what it got to be, like, for it to really free up. I mean, Bama just got to lose to Auburn. Or Georgia in the SEC championship. And then either Oregon just go ahead and choke. You know, get, get Oregon out of the way, knock them off. Or Cincinnati. Cincinnati got her go ahead and lose one. Or Oklahoma. That's the thing. And I really think out of all them, it might be Oklahoma. I mean, besides Belmont, because you know Belmont got to play Georgia and Auburn. I mean, Oklahoma might be the one. Because like I said, they got to play Baylor. Then they got to play Oklahoma State. And then they got to they play Iowa State lit. I don't even know. I should have looked it up. I didn't even made a video. Then they got to play Iowa State. I can't even know. But yeah, so anyway, they they going to have to play Oklahoma State twice. And like I said, it's hard to beat the same team twice in one season, you know, back to back. So if Oklahoma, Oklahoma let's say Oklahoma beat, you know, Oklahoma State in the regular season, then Oklahoma State beat them in a um, big tail to a championship, it knocks them both out. Because that means, if anything, Oklahoma State would get in because he won a championship, a big tail championship. So it's like, I don't know. It's, I mean, I don't care though. You know, no one's Georgia in, I don't care. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just some content, you feel me? Like, this is basically this video basically used to just you know as long as George get in you know I just have to make some content you know before I start my workout but yeah I mean it would be I said as long as George be number one and win that championship I don't care about that team. you know how oh, damn feel me but uh yeah so yeah. college football finna get good man I mean it's been good don't get me wrong it's been it's been good now it's like it's grind time now. Like, no mistake time. Definitely, if you already got lost, it's no mistakes. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's show up. Are you done? Like, Ohio State got one loss. Oregon got one loss. Bama got one loss. Cincinnati can't afford a loss. Or Oklahoma can't afford a loss. So it's like, man. But yeah, it's just something to post. Okay, man, I'm finna get some games, you know. I, I know I've been slacking on the uh, little videos. <laughs> I said it for the 50th time. But anyway, let me get out of here. Man, y'all be blessed.